Bowdenwoods.com. Now I have a rather smartly uh, labelled bottle here. Uh, Sec uh, de Navacel Reserve d'Eric. I don't know, not Eric. H E acute R I C. From the Cota de Languedoc. Don't really know too much else apart, about it apart from that. We'll be able to find something out, but I thought we'd better taste it first. 13% alcohol, 2016 vintage. Let's see what it's like. Intriguing one, this, because I stick my nose in and first time I smelt it, I thought oh, it's a little bit simple and uh, light, uh, easy, slightly medicinal, a uh, bit of blackberry and a uh, little bit of raspberry in there. But uh, uh, then the more I smell it, there's this herby character that's coming out. Uh, uh, the Languedoc is known for this uh, herby wild scrubland called the Garrigue that's got all those stuff, stuff like thyme and bay and... You wander through through the hillsides and you as you, you brush up against them, these aromas come up. So there's a little bit of that character. And uh, uh, it smells like genuinely refreshing red wine. Uh, you, one of those that you almost want to glug rather than, uh, uh, rather than just, uh, yeah, you don't want to linger over it. You want to sort of have a good swig. So I'm going to. And that's that's a it, 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 very similar type of flavours. This big gush of um, um, a slightly licorice scented berry fruit. Then these herbs come in. Uh, but the finish you're left with is quite fresh uh, and bracing. It's, it's come out of a coolish cellar. And um, so I, there's a slight chewiness of tannin that's there. But it feels like the tannins that, that are there are uh, all quite ripe. There's something ever so slightly raisiny, almost as if there's um, some carignan in there, some quite ripe carignan. But then uh, there are these, this is warm dustiness about it and, uh, and then a freshness. And uh, it really does feel like one of those that you could just sit there and think, oh, well, we finished that bottle. Should we open another? And you go, feel a bit naughty, but it's mm, Wednesday night. Oh, go on, let's do it. Um, it's one of those that, uh, yeah, I, it would definitely pass the end, empty bottle test. You'd put that on the table and uh, people would have a sip and then they'd have another sip and another sip and uh, and then, oh, suddenly it's empty. Um, so I like that. I like its uh, joyful, juicy glugability. So uh, I might go away and have a glug. See you soon.